I want to go over some uh, solving of literal equations. Okay, so this is the first equation. Ax plus b is equal to x plus b on a. Okay, so what I want to do is, I want to get rid of this a. So I'm going to multiply this side by a. So if I multiply this side by a, I'd also multiply this side by a. So this becomes a squared x plus a b is equal to, so this a and a gets cancelled, it is x plus b. Okay, so now you have to bring x is on one side and the uh, non x is on the other side. So I'm going to move this b onto other side, that means you're subtracting b from both sides. And uh, and then move this to this side. So I'm going to basically, so here the next step would look like this. So this is AB minus B is equal to X minus A squared B. Well, that would, uh, what can you factorize here? Yeah, so well, I can factorize B. So this is A minus one is equal to, I can factorize, sorry, I made a mistake here, uh, it should be a squared, a squared x, a squared x. So I can factor the x out, so this is 1 minus a squared. So this is b times a minus 1 is equal to x times, I can rewrite this as 1 plus a times 1 minus a. So here I can divide both sides by, uh, I can divide this side by 1 minus a and I can also divide this side by 1 minus a. So 1 minus a gets cancelled here. So let me rewrite. So this is x times a plus 1, so I'm writing this step, is equal to b times, or can I rewrite this as minus 1 times 1 minus a divided by 1 minus a. So 1 minus a gets cancelled, so you are left with a, a, x times a plus 1 is equal to minus b. So x would be minus b on a plus 1. Okay, and this is the answer. So let me show you how you can get, do this also on the CAS calculator. So you can go menu, algebra, solve. Uh, I remember, let me look at the question. It is ax plus b. So you can type in a times x plus b equal to, uh, what's the right hand side? Right hand side is x plus a, x plus b on a. So I'll bring the fraction key, x plus b on a, and you're solving for x, which is, this is the answer, and of course you have to write a should not be, or a is equal to one, okay? Uh, so why does that, why is a equal to 1? Now you're solving for x, you're not solving for a. The one thing that you have to say here is a should not be 1 here. Because you are able to divide uh, only if the denominator is not 0. So 1 minus a cannot be 0. That means a cannot be 1. So this answer that we, they have given is not acceptable because in this step we have to say a is not equal to 1. 